All right, and first I want to work on the toggle challenge. So in the app JSX, import this file, 06 toggle challenge. This is what you'll see on the screen. And as far as the challenge, I want you to create a state value. And in this case, I'm going to go with Boolean. Please keep in mind that, of course, you can set up a different value. Again, we're talking about truthy and falsy. Just to make it easier, I'm going to go with Boolean. But then in the JSX, we want to return a button and a component or element. So for sure, return a button. And then after the button, set up some kind of element or a component. That's really up to you. In my example, I'm going to use the component, but of course you can use the element as well. And then when the user clicks the button, toggle the state value, this sucker over here. And then based on that value, conditionally render component element. And I want to right away tell you that there's multiple ways how we can set this up. So again, if your logic works, do whatever makes the most sense to you. Now, as far as my setup, first of all, I want to navigate to the file. So I'm going to go to toggle challenge. We want to grab the use state. Again, I'm going to go with auto import. So I'm going to go with use state. Let's grab that one and it's going to be false by default. Now, as far as the name, I'm going to go with show alert and then comma and then set show alert. Now that is equal to, of course, my value. Okay, good. Let's save that. And like I said, now we want to set up that button. So in here, I'm going to go with div. And first is going to be my button. So btn, blah, 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 blah. Class name, btn. And then on click. For now, let's not worry about it. I just want to showcase how it's going to look like. So I have my toggle button. And like I said, after that, if you want to set up elements or element, you can definitely do so. In my case, I'm going to set up the alert just so I can showcase some classes that we have in CSS. So in here, if I go with alert component, and then as far as the return, if I go with, let's say div return and then div, let's add class names. So we have two of them alert, which basically adds the general styles. And then I also have alert danger, which essentially just adds some colors and all that kind of stuff. So let me close it here and let me say hello world. Let me save this. And now I want to go up where I have the toggle challenge and I want to just display the alert for now. And this is what we're going to see on the screen. Now, awesome. Up next, I want to actually toggle this value. So first of all, let's come up with the function. And in my case, that's going to be toggle alert. So I'm going to call this toggle alert. That's my function. And then before I set up the functionality, I want to actually invoke it every time we click. So remember, it was on click. And then we want to go with toggle and alert. And as far as the functionality, well, we want to toggle the state value, right? And like I said, there's multiple ways how we can set this up. At the end of the video, I'll show you a shortcut. But for now, we can simply do it this way, where I'm going to check what is the value of show alert. Basically, if this is true, then I want to go with set show alert and I'll set it equal to false. And very important, we want to go here with return. Why? Well, because I'm going to be setting up logic after my condition. And if I don't add the return, then basically it's going to hit this functionality as well, because that's how JavaScript is reading the code. So let me go here with true and notice. So if this is true, I want to set it equal to false. If not, then basically we'll just skip this condition and we'll set it equal to true. So this is awesome. But of course, alert is always going to be displayed. We also need to implement right now our and operator, correct? So I'm going to go with show alert. If this is true, then what do I want to do? Well, that's when I want to display that alert. So let me save it over here. And notice, once I click, this is of course now true. And I display the alert. Once I click one more time, then of course it's false and I don't display the alert. And as far as the shortcut, let me keep scrolling and notice over here, this not operator. So essentially we can just make it a one liner where instead of setting up the entire function and all that, I can just pass here the arrow function and I can say set show alert. 
and then not. So the opposite value of the current value of show alert. So if it's true, then set it equal to false. And if it's false, then set it equal to true. Hopefully that is clear. So I'm going to navigate back. Again, I'm going to comment this one out just so it stays for your reference. And now let's do that one liner where basically we will go here with my arrow function and then we'll just say set show alert and set it to the opposite value. Let's save that and then notice our functionality still works. Everything is awesome. We still have that alert component if this is true. However, now we have less lines of code.